Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. Now students in Organometallic Chemistry, in this video we are going to see the seventh type of compound that is called as Tetrakis triphenylphosphine palladium zero. That means it is palladium will be at ground state. So this is the Tetrakis triphenylphosphine palladium complex. This is the complex structure students Tetrakis triphenyl because three more I have written so it is called as triphenylphosphine palladium. Understanding students, this way you have to read the complex. Understand tetrakis triphenyl phosphine palladium. Understanding how you are going to prepare this complex students synthesis. We are going to see this complex can be prepared by displacement reaction. Now for that students raw material is tetracarbonyl palladium. Tetracarbonyl palladium react with the triphenyl phosphine and it will give you tetrakis triphenyl phosphine palladium and you are getting four molecules of carbonyl. So this way students you can synthesize in the lab by the displacement reaction. Now what happens students we have when you write down the structure students it has a square planar structure. No? Palladium will be at the centers and triphenyl phosphine will be at the corners. So you can make the it is what square planar structure. Understanding students. Now when you are talking about the bonding students the probable explanation for bonding can be explained as for bonding students if you want to explain the bonding you should know the electronic configuration of pal palladium that is atomic number is 46. So elect ground state electronic configuration is twins, mostly general electronic configuration is 2, 8, 18, 16, 2. Now electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10. Now here in fourth orbit is 4s2, 4p6, 4d8 and 5s2. Understanding students, now here we are going to write palladium in ground state electronic configuration that is abbreviated form is twins, krypton 36. Now 4d8, 4s2 and 5p0. So 36 is there is students now 8 plus 2, 10 that means 46 that is 4d8 and 5s2. Now 8 electrons are distributed like this in the d orbitals, d subatomic orbitals and yes electrons are like this and p orbitals having there is no electron that is all the orbitals are vacant, atomic orbitals of the palladiums are vacant. Now here is students the 4dz and 5s orbital of palladium hybridized to give two non-equivalent orbitals that is 5d1 at a comparatively lower energy level and 5d2 at the higher energy level. The energy level diagram for these orbitals can be represented like this. Now students 5d1 will be as the lower energy and 5d will have what? Higher energy with respect to 4d. Understanding students? So this way I have represent energy level diagram students. These are the metal orbitals 5d1, 4d, 5d2 and 5p. Understanding students, so 5d having two paired electrons. So these are the subatomic orbitals of the 4d. Understanding students, now here we have vacant d pi orbitals of the phosphine ligands. Now these are the filled metal orbitals. They will overlap and they will overlap and they will form the molecular orbitals with the vacant d pi orbitals of the phosphine ligand. So this is the metal orbitals and this is the ligand orbitals. They will overlap and they will form the molecular orbitals of the complex. The orbitals 5d1 is considered to be non-bonding. These orbitals will not participate in the bonding. Only these two orbitals will participate in the bonding. Understanding students? 4d. What happens students? The 5p orbitals and 5d2 orbitals are at the high energy level. So they do not take part in the bonding and remaining 4 4d orbitals filled orbitals of metal combined with the vacant d orbitals of the 4 phosphine ligand and they will form the bonds. This way students you can explain the bonding in the complex these are very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you students